Welcome to Out West, the official podcast of the Western Governors Association. I'm Anna Thielen, the manager of the Western Governors Foundation, the philanthropic arm of the Western Governors Association. On June 24th, 29 delegates joined us in Boulder, Colorado for the second annual Western Governors Leadership Institute, a program designed to recognize and reward the effective exercise of young leadership across the West. Each year, the foundation selects young adults to represent Western states, territories, and tribes as institute delegates. Delegates attend the annual meeting of the Western Governors Association and a one-day leadership development forum where they interact with governors, former governors, and leaders in business and academia. We sit down now with four of our delegates to hear about their experience. So I couldn't get anywhere on time this week because I kept being stopped by sponsors, governors, staff members, and meeting guests who all stopped to tell me how impressed they were with you. So clearly people in Boulder knew who you were, but for our guests listening now, could you introduce yourself? My name is Andy Baker and I am the leadership delegate from Montana. I'm Garrett Kelly. I am the delegate from the state of Arizona. Hi there. My name is Kaylin Reedy. I'm representing the state of North Dakota. Hi, I'm Danya Serafian, and I'm representing California. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to be here today. You've been with us in beautiful Boulder, Colorado for about a week now. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience here? You really get thrown into the deep end of this experience. It's so quick. Um, You're making introductions with people that you've never met before. You're listening to their policy areas, and you're trying to absorb everything. But for me, it has been so nice to see the the speakers, the governors even, um, be so welcoming. We're all new to this world, relatively speaking, and it is complicated and fast-paced. And so to be able to kind of have that hands-on experience with it is very unusual. Not everyone's liberal, not everyone's conservative, but we've kind of gone above that bipartisan, nonpartisan framework of disagreeing with each other on party lines to just come forward and propose common sense solutions that we can all seem to agree on. It's been so cool to see people from very different states who are interested in policy broadly. And Kaylin, well, I'll forgive you for being from the Dakota (laughs) without Mount Rushmore. I've been able to meet so many people People from states I've never visited and it's incredible to see the ways in which states can become labyrinths of not only democracy but science and exploration and policy exploration we heard from the governor of Wyoming who's trying to bring nuclear into his state safely and decarbonize his electric mix and it's incredible because that's exactly what we're trying to do in California and we have these similar climate goals and healthcare goals and everything and it's so cool how we can learn from what people are doing in their states, which might not make the national news stories, but are nonetheless incredibly important and can help guide our own policy decisions in the future. We're all looking for those solutions um, to those problems. And what's even greater, and one thing I've really come to appreciate here at the Western Governors Association and all the meetings is that we're not only like sharing the solutions we have come up with, but they're coming up with completely new ones. As young professionals getting to hear what people are doing and them hearing your new ideas has been one of the most remarkable things to me is people you get to connect to people in fields you may want to go into that may be steps ahead of you and that was huge for me. And it's preparing us to tackle these issues that are impacting western states as we go forward in our oh, careers. Absolutely. You're absolutely mm-hmm. right. And it's giving us a firm background in issues that impact all the states from water to energy to wildlife conservation. And it's also going forward and bringing up issues that are going to be impacting western states that we might not even be considering. For example, Microsoft's talk on artificial intelligence and Jenny Johnson coming in here and talking to us about the potential uses of blockchain. Just fascinating things that maybe you don't always associate with the Western states, but these issues are going to be impacting us. And so it's experiences like this that help us gather that background knowledge and discuss these ideas with people who have engaged with these issues for years, um, giving us the experience we need necessary to start tackling these from a younger perspective. The the Western Governors Association and this uh, annual meeting is 
very fellowship focused. It's clear to me that the, the association is fostering that fellowship on the base level, right? We're all coming into this. We're being sort of uh, exposed to that approach to cooperation. So a large part of the Leadership Institute takes place on site. It's you meeting with governors and thought leaders, creating relationships and friendships with your other delegates. But we also don't want this experience to kind of evaporate once you leave. What's something that you'll take home with you from your time here? Well, my hope would be the connections I've made. I think what really stood out to me was um, networking with my peers, getting to know all of you on a more personal level, understanding what motivates you and what drives you, but also understanding that uh, we're all human, we're all young, we're all going through very similar um, troubles and problems and also seeing similar successes. Absolutely. The Western Governors Leadership Institute has been incredible in bringing together these students and really forming a personal bond between them so that, you know, the next time something's happening in Montana, I know three people I can call to ask for advice. I would totally agree with that. For me, one of the, the interesting things about this experience was just the fellowship of being surrounded by other people, sort of peers who um, were similarly driven, who are... Uh, taking those steps into the next phase of their career and really looking to make those big shifts is a totally unique experience. It sounds like connections are the common thing that you're going to take with you. And that's extremely valuable because what I'm hearing is you're not just walking away with a stack of business cards. You're walking away with a sense of camaraderie, of friendship, with this commitment to collaborate in the future. And that's powerful because you are our future leaders. And we know just how important that willingness to collaborate is to get things done. Um, now, Andy, what will you take away from this experience? No matter a person's title, they're still a person. I think that's something that has really been demystified for me as the first day we heard from three former governors and two current governors and they're sitting in the same room as just you know, a bunch of young people. And I was just so excited to get to see them as people and get advice from them that I know I'm going to take home. I think one message I heard from nearly every single um, governor or former governor or person of leadership was that whatever you do, like do it in a place of passion and a place that like matters to you. Because it was evident to me that whether it was the forums of the actual meeting or our area, that every single person loved what they were doing and they wanted to do something about it. And to me, that just makes me really excited that there's people out there who care and want to do things and that they're just people and getting to see that side of every person who I got to meet has been very motivating and exciting for me in a future of career of hopefully many, many years. <laughs> Speaking of careers of many, many years, Andy, you've all accomplished so much already, especially for being so young. And that is, in a way, the exciting part, that you do have so much ahead of you. What do you hope to do in the future? I can start bringing that health care to those rural communities, specifically mental health care. Um, that's one of my passion areas. But as I've been here, I'm really excited to know that that can be through policy and policy decisions. So it's to hear from them that the education might be a way to bring it in or from the outside, um, really cool to hear different sides of that here as well. So my background is in media production. For me, I, I would really love to be able to demystify this process a little bit, bring some of that faith, that confidence that the people who are doing the work are really doing their best and are really coming together on these things. Because I think we would have a lot more confidence in our institutions if we knew what they were working on. You've got people from every area of, of concern working together on solutions, coming across state lines, coming across party lines to work out things that, that really make sense. And, and it really highlights that it's not this completely partisan mess that is, is filling people with so much dread. That's so true. And if there's one thing you can see from many of the representatives from various states and the policy experts, you can see a genuine passion for their craft or their area of expertise. And I think, like you just said, it's so easy to look at what's happening on the news or just from an alien perspective, assuming that everyone is just a self-interested monster trying to do you know, that sort of brand of politics. And this, these sorts of meetings 
kind of instill that same sort of passion in me for the things that I enjoy doing and writing about and trying to find applications of those that could benefit the wider public. Um, I currently work in a, a company called Fenworks. We um, provide after school esports and drone racing activities. And so our idea is we try and get you know, advanced technology into the hands of students. I love technology, I love this sort of work. And so seeing those sorts of potential applications for things like wildfires or other issues that impact states like ours, that's the sort of work I see myself doing in my future. And um, this has been a great way to help me realize that. Yeah, I graduated about five days before this conference began, so it was really interesting to go from the really classroom, textbook-based uh, ideas to applying them in real time and talking to people who are in government and are governors and former governors. Um, so I majored in public policy with a concentration in health policy, and, you know, I always say, you know, I want to fix American health care, and that's this big, ambitious goal that seems intractable, but um, we look at we look to the governors that we were able to meet over the past week and they've all made such incredible progress in their respective states about the things they're incredibly passionate about and healthcare sits in this unique position where not only does it affect every single human being but it's also going to play a bigger impact as we have an aging population and a growing population and so it's you know necessary now more than ever and it will be even more necessary in the future to address things like rising costs and accessibility um, cost burdens and uh, different burdens to actually getting to healthcare. Um, so it's states are states are uniquely positioned at the crux of healthcare delivery within their states um, and state governors and state governments have a big role to play in optimizing healthcare delivery systems. So I'm very optimistic about what can happen in the future and I'm hoping to be part of the team that fixes healthcare in America. I have no doubt that you will all be instrumental parts to Western solutions. You remind us that age is no barrier to leadership and is in fact an invitation to exceed expectations, rise to the occasion, and embrace your potential. The Western Governors Foundation is honored to be a part of your leadership journey and can't wait to see what you all do next. Thank you for joining us and lead on. To learn more about the Western Governors Leadership Institute or the Western Governors Foundation, visit westgov.org foundation. See you next time.